how are you? And welcome back to Karma Light Readings. I'm Karma. If you're new here, thank you so much for joining us. Please make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell. Gemini, if at any time you resonate with this reading, hit the like button. Remember to take what resonates, leave what doesn't. It's very normal and natural for some of this to not resonate with you. Um, cross watchers, you may need to flip and reverse the roles. Sometimes too, I've been noticing that like when I do the signs, like masculine, um, signs versus the feminines, uh, in the same sun sign or placement will have to reverse that. So just listen to the story and the energy. Again, it's a general collective reading for Gemini. Um, what else do I want to tell you guys? Uh, any information that you're seeking about me is in the description box below. Make sure you check out my Instagram. I do a giveaway every month. This month, I'm giving away my heart chakra intention body oil called Clear Heart, as well as a tiger's eye point. All right, so the winner will be announced tomorrow, November 30th. You can uh, follow me on Instagram below. You'll see the post. It's tagged on my page. You can enter. And then again, in December, there will be another giveaway. So go ahead and check that out. Tomorrow, I'll be going live as well for um, Taurus, Aries, and Scorpio placements. On November 30th, I'll be doing a live. So check that out if you'd like to tune in. All right, Gemini, let's take a look here and see what is going on in your love life gemini release your ex the time has come to clear your energy and then you have calling in your soulmate your prayers affirmations and visualizations help bring you together so you're in the process here of needing to release some past energy that is still in your life and i want to go ahead and i'm going to say real quick that for some of you wow and then i just opened it to free yourself for some of you, this could be more than one past relationship, right? Energy stays inside of us unless we actively are clearing our system, clearing our chakras, right? And uh, healing, okay? So there's a, a need for you to call back your energy and to clear out your energy. Um, release anyone else's energy, um, asking for all energy that no longer belongs to you to be sent back to its rightful owner and then calling in all of your energy um, and sealing those, those gaps or those areas as well when you're done. It looks like you're in the process of going through some type of uh, cycle closing. So, so what that means is when we close a cycle or when we learn a lesson, we naturally grow, evolve, ascend. It's a, it's a part of nature. It's how we move towards success. And so that's what's happening here. You've been working on something, on bettering yourself. Forgive me, I feel like my nose is running. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations. So as you do that, your frequency um, is vibrating higher. So you're calling in people into your life that are more in tune with you. Some people will not be able to come with you, hence why you need to release some energy here, okay? For others of you, this could be the most recent relationship. Maybe you're going through a breakup right now. Let's see here, what is the current energy? around Gemini. What is the current energy, please, surrounding Gemini? All right, you have the Hierophant, Taurus energy. This is about commitment to something. Tell me this. Could it be a marriage? Uh, the end of a committed situation. Okay, there's a lot of um, betrayal here in regards to a tradition or a value, some type of moral value that's held in relationships. Like you've been betrayed like your morals or values have been stomped on by somebody or for some of you it could be you like you're finally realizing where you need to set boundaries where you allowed yourself to uh be in situations that ran the risk of hurting you that's part of you know ascending to saying hey i think i'm doing i'm think i'm doing something wrong here yeah two of cups okay so there is a ending a closing of a situation that's taking place right now Ace of Swords, the Fool, Ten of Pentacles, and the Five of Pentacles. This Ten of Swords is just right in between the Two of Cups and the Hierophant. And, I, and I'm taking that as a couple things here. This may have been a connection that at one point in time you were very in sync with and it meant a lot to you and it looks as though you're reaching a phase in your life right now where you guys are not on the same frequency 
And now unless this person is willing or you are willing to actually do the work equal so that you can raise together, other than that, it's not, it's, it's, it's showing as a situation where you're needing to make a decision to separate yourself, which is probably why you have released your ex. Some of you could just still be holding on to something from the past and it's preventing this new soulmate from, from coming in. You could have children with this person. Okay. You could have children with this person and that's why it's so difficult. But I see a period here coming in where it's like you want to be on your own with this hermit energy here. There's there's higher wisdom that's that's calling to you or that you're yearning for. It's like a journey of self-discovery, Gemini, that you can't ignore anymore. And not so much that you've been ignoring it, but like you're really in a place right now where you're okay with walking away because you know what the expansion and the healing that can come with this yeah because there's a lot of pain and heartbreak a lot of loss and i feel as though you're trying to remove some type of anxiety and burdens from your perception from your thought realm you don't want to think like this anymore i don't want to be talked to like this anymore i don't want to communicate whatever it is there was something here that was painful and toxic and you're ready to, to cleanse to cleanse all of that out was coming towards Gemini in their love life was coming towards Gemini you have the ten of cups that's great emotional fulfillment happens within ourselves first and I think this is what kind of happens with this releasing past energy for you mm -hmm. new love brand new beginning is coming towards you that's why you have calling in your soulmate in this two of cups it's like you have to fully let go of outdated energies peoples and situations in order to bring in the new you can't be holding on to it and expect there to still be space for this new energy to come in mm -hmm. queen of cups you could be dealing with the water sign pisces specifically that may be coming towards you uh, you also have taurus as well so there's this this connection there's this and also there's a family element here i'm just gonna say there's some type of family element here as well so I don't know if this person will have children that's coming towards you or if it's just going to be like blending. It's coming in time because that was a wheel of fortune. This is an opportunity for you to experience a type of love that you've, I feel, been wanting in this past relationship or these past relationships. It's an equal give and take because this person is approaching with their heart, you know, in their hand. They see things from a different perception. Talk about this Ace of Cups, please, for what's coming towards Gemini in love. Yeah, you have Aquarius energy in the Knight of Cups. This is a healing love. This is a wish fulfillment. There is an offer that's coming towards you here, okay? Possibly in Aquarius season, so be patient. I did see the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, and so utilize the time now to continuously focus on your, your healing and bettering yourself and aligning yourself so that you can be prepared for this type of abundance, for this type of relationship that looks like it's on its way. Um, for some of you, it is going to come in Aquarius season. You could be dealing with an Aquarius, okay? It's actually right around the corner. December is in two days. And then, you know what I'm saying? We go into cap and then it's Aquarius you might actually have two offers coming too because i see three cups here but this is going to be an element of um, excitement and surprise for you and i feel like it's going to make things clear like something is going to be made clear to you you're going to be able to see something it's very different yeah the stork is in there this could be a very very fruitful uh relationship for you a lot of nurturing what is the intentions of this that's coming towards gemini please what is the intentions of this person? Wow. You have strength and the nine of cups. So pretty much what I've been saying, Gems, this is something that is going to change the way that you perceive relationships. It is an answered prayer. You're still in this process, I feel, of maybe going through conditioning and learning from past behaviors and lessons. Um, it does this type of love that's coming towards you or this type of work that's coming towards you requires you to face some fears as well Tell me more about the intentions Wow, this person is serious This person is serious. So this could involve marriage Okay 
Can you give me more on strength, please, for the intentions? What What is this strength about for the intentions? Ace of Swords, wow. I just feel like this is going to be such an expansive situation for you, experience for you. It, it's like I said, something gets cleared away. There's so much clarity that comes in. Also, there's somebody here who, who fully gets their power from the divine. This is a very prayerful person, okay? This is somebody who understands the power of the connection with God, the importance of communication with the divine in order to see things, you know, um, line up in your life. This is somebody who's very, very strong and truthful with their words. And this is somebody who their intentions I want to say their intentions are intentionful, but that's, <laughs> I know it's not it, but it's more like the, they're in, like the, whatever they do is filled with specific intentions. They don't do, don't do things for no reason. Okay. That's what I'm seeing. This person is going to bring in a lot of truth to your life, a lot of truth to your life, a lot of clarity, a lot of healing, a lot of understanding. There's just a lot of communication I feel that's going to take place between you and this person that may change your life. That's really how spirit is. It, because what happens is it's like the scales fall off your eyes or like you, you start to see things from a higher perception. It's a whole new experience for you. All right. What does the Holy Spirit want Gemini to focus on, please? So what you should be focused on right now at this time, Gems, is the Seven of Cups. There's a few things that you're still a little bit overwhelmed with that you're trying to get in order. You may feel exhausted in some areas too because you have a lot on your plate, okay? So Spirit wants you to focus on overcoming certain illusions or overcoming certain... Um, I feel like I like the word illusions, but it, it's more than that. There's some cups here that have disappointed you in the past, some opportunities or situations that have brought great pain and difficulty. And some of you may still be harboring over what happened and needing specific actions and or answers to take place before you can fully close it. And I really feel like what Spirit is asking you to do is to just Fully let go and have your faith in the most high and know that it's for your highest good to let it go. Um, even if you don't get the answer you're looking for. This is a process of transmuting pain into power. That's why you have wands with emotions, right? Because it's action. Um, I see you leveling up with the six of wands. I see you kind of looking for victory. Whatever you're battling emotionally, understand that it's temporary. So I'm going to explain something to you real quick too. Like, weaknesses so a weakness would be considered as like worry fear you know low vibrational emotions depression all of those types of emotions they all reside in the temporal lobes of your brain and so it's important to remember temporary that's why in the bible it always says you know it's just temporary you're going to get through it and that's why they're located in the temporal area so it's like if you recognize that and you know that God sits at the center in the pineal gland and he's greater than all and he can accomplish all things, then all you have to know is this is temporary. Now your time has expired. Get out and bring in the light of God. Go to prayer. I don't, that's what spirit is telling me to tell you. And I see you gaining victory over this, but this is what they want you to focus on. Where is the temporary emotions and confusion and pain inside of you that is creating longer blocks or pauses in a situation than you desire. You have to get intentional with it. Get If it's confusing, you tell it to leave and go to prayer so that you can bring in um, a, a download, you know? Yeah, three of pentacles. This is something that you're working on. Some of you could be going to like counseling or there's somebody around you that's going to get help. I don't know why I feel like saying rehab. Um, but maybe it's not even that. Maybe it's just like you've joined something with a group of people to help you kind of process all of your trauma. That's very, very specific. But I just see you gaining victory over this seven of cups. Can you give me one more on the seven of cups for what Gemini needs to be? 
focus on, please? Yeah, the Seven of Pentacles. Patience. It, something is coming to, to fruition here. It's like you've planted the seeds to make a change in your life and now you're watering them. You need to water them. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Wow. This is your own foundation. You're bringing big healing to yourself. All right, what's the outcome, please, for Gemini? What's the outcome, please, for Gemini? The world. The king of wands. And the nine of pentacles. So the outcome for you at this point is, and then you have the four of cups on the bottom. I see you looking at here with the king of wands. I see you looking at and prepared to take action on closing out past ways of being old cycles friendships whatever they are you're very intentional about walking through this new portal and creating a new life i don't think that you expect it to to be doing it completely on your own none of us are but i'm going to be honest with you when we're going on this journey there's always going to be a period where we're doing it solely independent right because that's how we know and learn how to fully lean into our faith and align with the divine so there's this um, really nice, beautiful sense of independence coming over you. Uh, it's going to help you stand tall. It's going to help you feel confident as well. You guys could have some type of raise or some type of investment that starts to pay off for you. And it's something that you did on your own or something that you created on your own. I just want to advise you, Gemini, just to be careful not to keep looking back at the past. Maybe not all of you are, but I just, with this King of Wands staring at the world, try to shift your focus onto walking through the portal to the new beginning instead of, because the world can represent both. So try, you might just be kind of in between worlds right now, like one foot in the portal, you know you got to go this way, and you're just kind of like double back, like, are you, you're not coming? You know? And it looks like, no, it looks like this is something you're going to do on your own, okay? Uh, yeah, you have the four of cups on the bottom. So, yeah, see, looking back, king and queen of wands, there's a soulmate here. You're not coming? All right, cool, because then I got to walk away. Eight of cups, what's behind that? The queen of pentacles. Yeah, and then you walk right into a new love connection. You know? All right, let's go into this real quick, and then we'll do closing messages for each sign that you may be dealing with. Clarify this current energy, please. What do we need to know? Oracle messages, please. Yeah, so that past person, they're lying to you. That's why you got the Ten of Swords here. I think you already knew that, though. You need to detox and declutter your energy and space and then cleanse and smudge your home. So um, clean out your home, prayers of protection, casting out any energies, entities, spirits that don't have the right to be there, making sure that you're placing... Uh, protection over your home as well as yourself what's coming towards gemini please clarify confused confusion does not come from god addictions and codependent behavior so you're needing yeah there's something really going on with your past that you've got to release here need to practice detachment there is this element of something brand new slowly making its way towards you but you have to let things fall you have to let things go first because you're releasing your ex and calling in your soulmate. We have more than one soulmate. Generational curse. So somebody here is breaking big generational curses. Could be dealing with an Aquarius. And that's why this is um, this is so difficult. Yeah, dark entities are around and or attached to you. So let's just be clear. Dark entities, because I have somebody comment on this, but let's be real. Uh, dark entities, low vibrational frequencies are everywhere. It's not a one-stop shop. You don't just pray one time and, and you don't ever, nothing ever comes after you. That's not how it works. This is a continuous, it's called spiritual hygiene. Um, and so, yeah, if you're around people who aren't prayed up or staying protected, or you let people come in your house that, you know, are not prayed up or protected and don't constantly practice spiritual hygiene, you're, you're inviting and allowing other energies into your home. And so I just feel like there's somebody here that is around you that, you know, they're going through some things, okay? So just make sure that you stay protected here and understand. Use your spiritual discernment, your eyes and ears. See things outside of the world in front of you so that you can really see what's going on. The intentions of what's coming towards you, please, for Gemini. Cancer energy. So it's coming in quick. 
there could be a new baby that comes from this uh, situation. Some of you may be pregnant. Um, this could also just be representative of a brand new beginning. Higher calling and purpose, lonely at the top. Do not give up. You are almost there. Yeah, look what I tell you. Somebody around you has spiritual poverty. What do you think that brings angels with it? I'm just saying, and that's not even to you, Gemini. Don't let me get triggered by that person's comment. But it's like when somebody is in spiritual poverty, yeah, they got spirits around them. They're not light spirits. They're not angels. You know what I'm saying? So you have to protect yourself and, and pray for the person too that's going through it for real all right so let's take a look at this on what you should focus on for gemini you can trust this person father wounds need to be addressed and they want to try again so i feel like again some of you here with you can trust this person some of you are really going to some type of counseling or healing or there's somebody that you're communicating with about what you're going through trying to heal okay and some of you may specifically be working on father wounds and how you know whatever your your experience was with your father or masculines growing up there is an element of somebody around you that wants to try again this could be that x and why you need to release it and what is the outcome please clarify please this outcome for gemini taurus energy so higher wisdom and knowledge again sharing what you've learned very very committed and devoted energy there's somebody here spiritual poverty just came out again that's why you have the world here you need to get, get very clear with your intentions and what you're doing you could also be dealing with the leo here clarify please figuring out what you represent and what you stand for and what the other person represents and stands for you aren't praying enough what did i say issues with the media family so again just make sure that you're praying for you know every day just communicating with the most high communicating with god replenishing and, and strengthening your relationship with him um asking for guidance and also making sure that you are protected and shielding yourself in those prayers as well all right gemini let's go through the zodiac signs that you guys may be dealing with and get some messages for you guys so we're going to start with aries if you're dealing with the aries your message is open in layers dig deeper and finds you sexy if you are dealing with a taurus gemini you have daydreaming about you talk in person and desires only you if you are dealing with another gemini you have flirty energy worry and work it out if you're dealing with a cancer you have build the foundation contact within a week offer patience if you are dealing with a Leo, Gemini, if you're dealing with a Leo, make it official, abandoned, and the answer is no. If you are dealing with a Virgo, comparing options, catching feelings, heartbroken. If you're dealing with a Libra, friendship only, they can be trusted, be supportive. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, deeper commitment, the answer is yes falling in love if you're dealing with a sag thoughts of marriage no longer interested comes with drama if you're dealing with a capricorn break up a growing bond freedom needed if you're dealing with an aquarius you have future proposal make the first move and too attached and if you are dealing with a pisces it says trapped emotions, third party involved, and ignoring you. Gemini, I send you guys so much love. I look forward to hearing from you.